Hi, good day. Let us talk about sex-related inheritance. Humans have 46 diploid chromosomes. From these, 44 are referred to as autosomes, while the remaining two are the sex chromosomes. Autosomes carry genes for somatic traits. Sex chromosomes, on the other hand, determine the sex of the human organisms. This figure shows you a karyotype or picture of the 46 human chromosomes arranged according to their homologous pair of a male and female. Did you notice the last two chromosomes in both figures? They are the sex chromosomes. Males have XY sex chromosomes while females have XX chromosomes. During spermatogenesis, each sperm cell receives either X or Y chromosomes. In oogenesis, however, each egg cell receives one X chromosomes. What is the significance of having only one sex chromosomes per gamete? In the process of fertilization, a haploid sperm cell, equivalent to 23 chromosomes, fertilizes a haploid egg cell, equivalent to 23 chromosomes, forming a diploid 46 chromosomes zygote. The resulting zygote, therefore, will receive either X or Y from the sperm cell and surely an X chromosome coming from the egg cell. If the resulting zygote receives Y chromosomes from the sperm cell, and of course an X from an egg cell, the sex of the zygote will be male for receiving XY chromosomes. In addition, if the resulting zygote will receive an X chromosomes from the sperm cell and X from the egg cell, the sex of the zygote will be female for having an XX chromosomes. Based from this figure, we can see the possible sex of the resulting zygote from the fertilization of gametes. Moreover, between X and Y chromosomes, X chromosomes carries more genes compared to Y. However, the Y chromosome actually determines the sex of humans. In this video, we will learn three kinds of sex-related inheritance, namely sex-limited, sex-influence, and sex-linked. Sex-linked traits are traits that are found in either X or Y chromosome. The phenotypic expression of such traits are controlled by the genes. An example of this trait is the gene for eye vision, and we shall express it as uppercase C. There are two alleles for eye vision, the dominant normal eye vision and the recessive colorblind. Both are found in the X chromosomes. People with colorblind eye vision have hard time recognizing differences of colors. Most who are afflicted by this trait are the males than females. As seen in this table, if a man receives the allele of X with lowercase c and y, he will be colorblind. This happens because he only has one X chromosome compared to those of the female in this table. Females will be colorblind if they will inherit the homozygous allele for the said trait. However, a female is a carrier of colorblind trait if she has heterozygous allele for it. For instance, in this table, you will see that the parental female is a carrier of heterozygous allele for colorblind while the male carries normal allele for eye vision. You will notice that her son have 50% chance of getting this allele, while her daughters have 100% normal eye vision but the other one is carrier of the heterozygous allele. Another sex link trait is hemophilia, also known as the bleeder disease. When a person with hemophilia obtains cuts or bruises, he or she will bleed continuously without stopping. This happens because the protein factor that develops blood clot is missing in a person with hemophilia. Hemophilia is an X-linked trait and shares the same pattern of inheritance like the eye vision. Let us have the sex influence traits. Try to imagine, you are 86 years old and with few hairs. What trait is being described? Probably, this is the most noticeable trait that you can see among male elderly. Baldness is a sex influence trait. The gene for baldness is found in both the X and Y chromosomes and is dominant. Let us compare the homozygous allele for bald trait of male and female sexes seen in this table. Notice that both sexes will be bald if they will receive homozygous allele for such trait. This time, look at their heterozygous allele. Notice that males are affected by baldness while females are not. Why? Though baldness is present in both sexes, 
Being male greatly influences the manifestation of such trait compared to females. This is due to the hormones that influence the effectivity of the gene. You will see a pattern of inheritance in baldness in this table. When male bald is crossed with female bald, her sons have 100% bald while her daughters have 50% bald and 50% not bald. The third one is called sex limited traits. Sex limited traits are traits limited to specific traits regardless of the dominance. For instance, beard formation is limited to and a dominant trait among males. Let us compare the genotypes of male in this table to female in this table. Notice that males will be bearded regardless if they inherit the homozygous or heterozygous allele for it. However, males will not be bearded if they receive the homozygous recessive allele for the said trait. This table shows us how the gene for beard formation is received by males and females. The phenotypic ratio for male have 25% chance of getting this allele, while 25% will be not bearded. The phenotypic ratio for male is 25% bearded and 25% not bearded, while in female, 100% not bearded. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.